everyone, it's Brett Riches from runforfit.com and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to run with less impact. If you are always finding this cloud of running injury following you around, you may need to reconsider your running shoes and this is because we know that running shoes with thick heels causes a runner to heel strike at a harder intensity than if you were to land with a forefoot strike, especially in barefoot like footwear. You are more reckless and less careful in terms of your foot strike pattern and foot strike intensity when you run in cushion heeled running shoes, which plays right into making running feel uncomfortable and less likely for you to avoid injury. The whole reason why runners are hurting is because they are landing with a tremendous amount of impact, landing squarely on the heel, which undercuts performance and heel striking simply doesn't help for avoiding injury. With that in mind, I'm gonna briefly talk about a few studies which I came across, and these studies found a link between heel strike running shoes and running discomfort. And I really like how these articles magnify the fact that more cushioning doesn't always equal more protection and less injury. So the one study which I'll link below, the study found that there were no improvements in comfort when heel strike runners wore various types of under heel protective material such as EVA foam, gel, etc. during running. Basically, the study alludes to the fact that despite super thick under heel cushioning, it won't make running feel any more comfortable if you run with a heel strike landing and this is because the magnitude and the severity of the impact that is generated at a he in heel strike landing is still challenging for underfoot materials to 100% absorb this impact and prevent this impact from being projected and affecting the body. In their study, their data showed absolutely no relation between perception of comfort and biomechanical variables for any of the investigated running shoes. This means that for each underheel cushioning tested, heel strike running was not perceived as more comfortable. So why is this? Other studies have found that running in a running shoe with the most maximum amount of heel cushioning will cause a heel strike runner to land with higher loading rates. And some experts believe that cushion running shoes accelerates impact because thicker cushioning prevents the body from fulfilling a stable interaction with the ground. More importantly, foot strike was perceived as comfortable when heel strike runners wore a stiffer running shoe with less protection, probably because the heel strikers learned to land more lightly with the ground in the absence of underheel protection. So naturally, the body has the ability to adjust landing intensity in the absence of underfoot material protection. The increased level of comfort was a result of biomechanical changes in response to a stiff, stiffer outsole and reduced heel protection. Essentially, the lack of heel protection prompted heel strike runners to change their landing strategy to a non-heel strike landing or a more forefoot strike landing in attempt to avoid high impact landings. Therefore, a comfortable landing was carried out. So what does this research mean? So this data indicates that when you run in a running shoe with considerably less protection, you are more likely to sense better feedback from the ground and your neuromotor system responds in a way as a self-protective mechanism and adjusts landing intensity accordingly to make a landing much lighter as a reflexive mechanism to avoid pain and discomfort when you run in the absence of thick under heel cushioning. We now know that heel strike running generates the greatest amount of loading, which is why barefoot runners like to run on the forefoot and not on the heel for this reason. And high loading is strongly associated with a lower perceived rating of comfort. So if you run with a landing style with high loading, particularly heel strike running, it's not gonna feel comfortable. In contrast, forefoot running reduces loading and it feels comfortable, especially at faster speeds when barefoot. Like I said, this is one of the reasons why barefoot runners typically prefer to utilize a forefoot strike landing because it allows for a more comforting stride as opposed to landing with a heel strike where loading is greater. What is more is that forefoot running and minimalist running shoes like the Vibram Five Fingers provides more softness than heel striking in excessively cushioned running shoes simply because Minimalist footwear encourages or favors a forefoot strike landing, which dramatically reduces joint damaging impact. 
and the main reason why barefoot inspired running shoes like the Vibram Five Fingers encourages a non heel strike landing or a forefoot strike landing is simply because the runner is better able to feel the ground due to the absence of cushioning. And because they are better able to feel the ground, they can naturally avoid high loading rates by landing on the forefoot, which allows for a more plush, softer, cushioned landing. So the researchers of the current study recommended selecting a shoe not based on perception of comfort, but upon the technology of the shoe, which provides lower loading rates. So it would then follow that such shoes are zero drop minimalist running shoes with no support, no underheel cushioning, and facilitates proper adjustments in the leg and foot strike mechanics to minimize loading. So you wanna run in a running shoe that discourages a heel strike landing and encourages a forefoot strike landing. And running in minimalist shoes or running barefoot will be a big help with lightening up your stride and that especially running barefoot is sort of the best barometer at allowing you to detect your footfall intensity and this increase in foot strike perception awareness during barefoot running or minimalist running is enough to support your body from landing with high impact. So this is how minimalist running shoes or running barefoot can enrich your stride and enrich your mechanics because it really puts your foot in the best position to land on the forefoot and it will give you the power to shape a more lighter interaction with the ground so that you avoid rapid spikes and rises in impact that is detrimental to your health and performance. For more information on running shoes versus barefoot running, please head on over to my blog, runforfit.com, where you will also find information about forefoot running versus heel strike running. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay updated on all the latest research regarding running biomechanics. Have fun out there on the roads. Bye for now.